Tuesday. It is the 29th of the month of December, 2015. And this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels. Oh, yeah. You know, a fellow came up to me the other day and he said, boy, your outtakes must be really, really <laughs> funny. He said, do you, where, do you, where do you save those? And let me tell you something. I, you know what I told him? I said, if we took out the outtakes, we wouldn't have a program. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh. Yeah, right. Okay, today is the 29th. It's Pepper Pot Day. We never figured out what that was. No, we did. We did. Oh, didn't uh, we? Pat, did we? Pat Googled it for us, and there's all kinds of explanations. A restaurant, it can refer to an actual pepper shaker. Um, oh, okay. A firearm. A firearm? Yeah. Pepper pot. Uh, a firearm. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. <laughs> I lost She's going to give me some cheat sheets. Stew. Uh, Stew? Like stew, a like stew? you eat, yes. Pepper yes. pot. Pepper yes. pot stew. Okay, so it's so all kind, you want it to be, all right? kinds of yeah. Right. <laughs> Whatever so you want it to be. She's writing a sign for us here to to look at. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pat is our producer, by the way, in case anybody Building it's a building in England. A pepper pot. Really? It can also oh, it's also referred to as a small lighthouse. A small lighthouse. Look at me remembering I'm stuff. Talent, look at you. Isn't that wild? That's yeah. very interesting. A building in England? Yes. I we should say. go. We should. And do sure. a live I show from there. A, she has another word. It's a character. A character or character? A character. Okay. And on that <laughs> note, today is Pepper Pot Day. Jolly See what good. you can learn tuning in with us. Ah, it's amazing. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Just I'm Pat feeds us all the information. Just full of it. Information. All right, what you got? What uh, you got? Oh, okay. I want to save that to tomorrow. The senior center will be closed for uh, New Year's Day, as will the county. Yes. The courts, the yes. landfill, uh, and convenience centers will be closed on Friday, but open on Saturday. Okay. 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 At the senior center, A A R P uh, ARP uh, ARP uh, 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 A A R P Tax volunteers will be at the Veterans Building at 21, uh, 2001D East Ash Street. That's right next door to the Senior Center. Mm -hmm. uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 o'clock until 2 o'clock beginning February 2nd. Now, at April 14th, it'll all be over. So taxes will be done by appointment only. You'll need to bring your tax documents. Now, this is for uh, those uh, 60 and older. Uh, AARP tax volunteers helping you with your taxes, bring your documents, your W-2s, your Form 1099s, and all that. Bring proof of donations, taxes, uh, mortgage interest, out-of-pocket medical expenses, all that. Anyway, for more information, call Angela. And Angela is at 731-1586, 731-1586 at the Senior Center. If you are a senior and you want help with your taxes, AARP is there to prepare to help. Wonderful. Also... January 7th, which is next week, the, uh, at the Senior Center. Howard Bass is going to be back with uh, the Senior Center. He'll be available at the Senior Center to offer advice and assistance on public and low-income housing. Now, he is president of the Resident Council for the Goldsboro Housing Authority. He has served on the Board of Commissioners of the Housing Authority for six years. And prior to returning to Goldsboro, Mr. Bass worked for the Chicago Housing Authority for 12 years. Oh, boy. Anyway, for more information, call Paula Edwards. Call Paula at 919-705-1785, 705-1785. I'll tell you, if he was able to work in the Chicago area, he can work anywhere with uh, solutions to problems That's that, right. that may be uh, uh, needed in this area particularly. Right. Okay. And the Goldsboro Housing Authority um, is doing some pretty incredible things. Anthony Goodson, I'm not sure if he's been on your show no, or he not. Hasn't. No. Um, he's the executive director for the City of Goldsboro uh, Housing Authority. Um, there was a big announcement just a week and a half ago um, uh, through HUD that a, a big grant came through for the City of Goldsboro, and it was due to the work that Anthony Goodson and his team with uh, City, and I know Wayne Community College was a part of that, Career Works. There, there's an entire program. Um, they've got a Ross program right now. This was unveiling another program. Wow. Goldsboro was selected. There were eight in the country of these wow. grants. Wow. That were close to $3 million. Eight in the country. North Carolina was on the map, city of Goldsboro. 
So a big kudos to the team over there that's working um, and, and the, the programs that they've got in place to, to help with, with um, you know, people wanting to better themselves. And, and uh, they, he, they produce the newsletters that are just top quality. I received two of the most recent ones and was reading through it, and I'm like, I had no clue that this was going on in our community. So we need to get Anthony on here, talk about the great work that's being done in the community, because uh, it, it's definitely making a difference. And he's been here for two and a half years, I think, mm -hmm. and um, the Housing Authority has gotten top ratings. Um, they've gone from, um, from not top ratings to top ratings. Uh, big things are happening. Big things that are happening. That is amazing. What a great story. Yes. We need to get yes. Anthony in here. We do. We do. Anthony? Anthony. We're calling you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we'll do that. We will contact him right away. Fantastic. Okay. Also next week, a new support group for individuals that have sustained a brain injury. This is so very important. You know Pierre Tarrant. I do you know, not. Oh, you do not? Oh, Pierre is wonderful. Mm -hmm. She is my dear friend. And uh, Pierre Tarrant uh, has a brother who uh, suffered a brain injury many years ago. And he is my good friend, too. And he's a little bit, he's, a, he's so funny. Talk, talk about a sense of humor. He's just hilarious. Love the guy. And Pierre is wonderful. She sent me an email about uh, a new support group for individuals who sustained a brain injury and their families and friends. This is all starting up next week, January 9th. Starts at 10 o'clock and goes till 1130. Uh, meeting That's on right. the second Saturday of each month and then thereafter at 10 to, to 1130 in the dining room number four at Wayne Memorial Hospital. Again, this is January 9th at the hospital, dining room number four. The purpose of the group is to offer support, information, and fellowship. Brain injuries may occur as a result of motor vehicle accidents, falls, assaults, heart attacks, strokes, poisonings, yeah. per percussive attacks where the brain is shaken, plus many other reasons. Parking is available directly in front of the hospital cafeteria, right. and a wheelchair ramp as well as steps lead right to the door entrance. Right. So as you face the front of the hospital, it will be on the left end uh -huh. So call Pier. Here's her number. 919-394-1091. 919-394-1091 to get more information about this. We need to get Pier in here. I had her on it in my previous lifetime at another location uh, several times. Uh, she and her brother both. And uh, well, that's this great. is a wonderful organization. Has uh, Pier is with uh, Renew Life. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I sure. do know who she yeah, is. No I know who she is. She, she was is in a, real estate. She's a special woman. She is. Very she's a special, special woman. And and things like this, these support groups, mm -hmm. you know, anytime, you know, whatever it is that that people have gone through, support groups are so important. Yes. Being when if you're coming, you know, yes. if you're in therapy, um, I know out of Greenville. I remember when I was at ECU, I volunteered um, with the Heart Association, and um, they had a group called um, Mended Hearts. And it was for patients oh, who had yeah. gone through cardiac rehab or had had a yes. sense. And so families would come in. And what a, what a wonderful t time to have somebody else that's gone through something similar, mm -hmm. such as this. Yes. Okay. Not, and they're not all going to be the same situations. But there's that relatability. And you get a support group. Yeah. You know, people that have gone through cancer treatments or, or whatever, or alcoholism or drug addiction mm -hmm. or whatever it is. There is such proven proven fact that psychology basis will tell mm -hmm. you being with others that can relate to you is so important yes and so kudos to Pierre and the great work that Renew Life does mm -hmm. year-round and the initiative that they're doing I know Wayne Memorial Hospital throughout the year has support groups um, you know and education classes for those with diabetes and you name it so okay. it's important that's mm -hmm. the that's that human aspect of, of us pulling together that's right okay we have our interview today, yes. a very special group of ladies Ooh. from Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, Ooh. and I can't wait for you to hear about this. Very good. Today we welcome guests from Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. We have Lindsay, Kristen, and Marcia with us. And if it's more than two people, I can't remember their last names. <laughs> so I'll just, uh, I'll let you introduce yourself. You are Lindsay. Germono. Germono and Kristen. Smith. S Easy. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> right? Is that your real name? Okay, yes. and Marcia? <laughs> Hudson. Hudson. Yes. Very good. And you ladies are all military spouses from Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. And we want to talk about, as you can see the logo, kind of see it in the background there, the Mills Poe <laughs> Project. What, what is the Mills Poe Project? Who wants to tell us about that? Who is, what is that? Well, I'll take this one. Uh, the Mills Poe Project is an international organization that uh, focuses on uh, supporting, enabling, uh, networking the military spouse entrepreneurs that are in the um, organization. So what you're going to find are veterans, active duty, mm -hmm. um, people that are you know, stationed in places that they might not be able to find work. So what they do is they start their own business and the uh, struggles that they face are you know, have to file taxes properly and a lot of different legalities because they're not uh, centered where their brick and mortar might be. So that is what the Mill Spoke Project is all about, is supporting the spouses that are entrepreneurs and uh, enabling them with uh, educational components to get further in their career. I would have to say, my goodness, military spouses working, I would have to say that I'm really not smart in that area because uh, I assume, as many people would, I would guess, that military spouses would not necessarily be interested in working that they would be happy being military spouses. And of course that's not true. <laughs> that is just not true. They want to work like anyone else. So... Uh, yeah, we like money. I, yeah. <laughs> we I, like making I it. I got you. Oh yeah, I got you. And, so, and Wayne, just to yes. um, throw something in there. A lot of times military spouses are, I mean, we, we are just regular people. And I've heard we that. would have, <laughs> we would have, um, you know, when we when we PCS'd and moved to a, a different location, we would right. have been leaving a career behind, right. um, you know, a job field, maybe um, schooling, whatever it is yes. that we were involved in before. We would have had to leave that and then move to a new location and either reintegrate, you know, find something similar mm -hmm. to do, mm -hmm. or not work, as the case may be. And I'm sure you're happy being military spouses. Yes. However, but it's only one part of it. It's only of one work. part yes. of it, exactly. Yes. Right. So uh, you're from San Diego originally. Originally, yes. So you moved from halfway around the world, just about. Mm -hmm. Kristen, where are you from? Where's your home? Originally Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville, so not yeah. too far, but home of far Bob enough. Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. And and uh, and where are you from, Lindsay? Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk. 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 <laughs> now, so if you're going to be from there, say it Norfolk. right. No. That's right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, how long have you, have you been military associated? Just about a year. Oh, okay. Newcomer. Yes. All right. And you? And we're the same. We're over a year now. Um, we just moved to Seymour Johnson in, uh, in August last year, and okay. this is our first station. Wow. So That's exciting. Brand new. It All is. All right. Lindsay? Well, I've been in for four years, mm -hmm. but this is our first uh, PCS, which mm -hmm. means, you know, you move from where you're born and raised. Right. And so we've been here at Seymour Johnson for about a year, year mm -hmm. and a half. Now, it's exciting being a military spouse, mm -hmm. being associated with the military, yeah. because you get to travel, you get to see new places and all that, but it still can take a toll. It can right. still be mm -hmm. difficult to move, leave your friends and family behind and then move to a new location, which is exciting on one hand and then kind of disappointing on the other because you do leave people behind. Mm -hmm. And you, as you mentioned, you leave jobs, you leave activities, and you have to dig up new things. And part of that would be perhaps finding employment or starting your own business. Mm -hmm. And that's what Mills Poe is all about. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Correct. Yes. All right. Wh who started this? Whose idea was this? Or, so or was it kind of a collaborative effort? Elizabeth Boardman and Nicole Hope are the founders of the Mills Poe Project. Mm -hmm. And they're actually uh, both in North Carolina. Uh, they were finding that there really wasn't a whole lot of... Um, there weren't a whole lot of avenues available to folks like us who, you know, we want to work, we, we want to have kids and work and, you know, do it all. Um, and so they, they started the organization uh, two years ago? Yes, just about two years yes. ago. Yes, and I mean, they're a 50C3 mm. nonprofit. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they've hit the streets running. So their goal is to have a chapter at every single military installation. So that way, the women who may be a part of Seymour Johnson, you know, if we're PC, if we're getting orders to go to uh, somewhere in Florida, we know that there's a Mill Spo chapter there that we can right. just roll up, and, and it's a free organization to join. So this is not just local; this is no, a national not, right? effort, not if, if not international. Yeah. Right. Are there plans to take it over to I'm, say Lake and Heath? Yes, and I'm sure. Already have oh, a chapter yeah. in the in the UK. Yes, oh, that's one great. of our bases there. That's yes, great. in um, Japan, um, Japan and mm -hmm. Korea, we also have chapters there. So it would be like a chamber of commerce, but for military spouses, mm -hmm. and you know the the 
organization is just like built, built just like something like the Chamber of Commerce, where wherever you go, you're familiar with it. Oh. Um, and, and it's also a place for us to support each other because mm -hmm. some people's husbands or wives who are in the military may be deploying for eight to nine months. Um, mm -hmm. So it's a nice avenue to have, you know, some people that you can rely on and network with while your spouse may be um, unavailable. Unavailable. <laughs> Got it. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Kristen, you're one of the business owners, aren't you? Yes. You have your own business. I do. Uh, Barks and Bows. Yes. Uh, Barks well, tell me Bows. about that. So I started Barks and Bows about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, the whole thing started with um, the recall on treats, and we have a dog named Pepperoni. And pepperoni. Yes, she is. <laughs> She's Italian, right? She is very Italian. <laughs> pepperoni Sophia. Does actually. she talk with her paws? She does. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I've where seen are these treats? Hey, where's you my know? Food? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I started it really for her, and it kind of grew from there. Um, people got really interested in the treats, and I started making collars because, oh. you know, everyone needs a little fancy in sure, their life. Um, and Including it's just Italian dogs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's just grown from there, which is awesome. It's also a business that I can take anywhere. Yeah. So, because I'm all online right now, but the goal is to get into stores soon. Um, and actually, thanks to Millspo and Marcia hitting the streets for me, I will be ah. featured at the base exchange oh. um, in a couple of the bases here. So, that is wonderful. Stuff. Yeah. And as you are in the military for any length of time. Right. Perhaps if you're PCS to another location, you take that business with you. Yes. And then you're in another location. Exactly. Ba boom. Exactly. Right. And people are talking all over the country about barks and bows. Barks and bows. So. Even, even the dogs are talking about it. Yes. Yes. The, dog the dog part. Have you heard? <laughs> Irish setters, German yes. shepherds. They're, it's all the rain. What are you wearing? That's great. Okay. Do you have plans for a business or do you have a business? I do have plans for a business. Okay. Um, I have not really, I haven't started that as yet, okay. but um, part of the reason why I raised my hand and said um, we need a chapter here mm -hmm. is because of that. I, I saw firsthand what the um, multiple was about and it was really about empowering military spouses yes. and um, I felt that if we could do that here, um, you know, it would just take off and I might be here for a long time, I don't mm -hmm. know, but that's exactly what I want to see happen in yeah. this um, location. It's really hard to say how long you're going to be at any exactly. particular location. Exactly. Right. What about, uh, Lindsay, you're, I, I know you're very involved with this, but you are marketing, you are involved with uh, spreading the word about this, but uh, would you have time to start a business? I do have a business. <laughs> do you really? <laughs> Funny I should ask. Funny you should All ask. All right. So what's up? Uh, so I own a company called Germano Advertising Company, and it is a traditional advertising agency. Uh, it's based in Norfolk, Virginia, but I service clients all over. Mm -hmm. And we focus on traditional media planning, placement, and management for uh, businesses, particularly in Hampton Roads, Virginia. Right. Um, so okay. I have a really heavy TV sales background, and I thought this is something that I could do. Even if we happen to move, I could take it with me. Um, uh, and I'm very excited to announce yes. that we are now doing uh, offering uh, marketing coaching sessions. Oh, man. Um, and okay. so what I was finding are people who would come to me and maybe they had a business and they weren't ready to have a full-time advertising agency. So uh, I would meet with them, you know, we'd, we'd kind of get the ball rolling on where they needed to be, just some short-term mm -hmm. and long-term goal planning. Uh, we'd look at social media, traditional media, and come up with a game plan. So that's really what the marketing coaching sessions are, which anybody can take advantage of, whether you're a small business, medium business, or a large business. Um, that is in need of just somebody to come in with that third person point of view and expertise. I'm going to send you a bill for that ad, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Right. But now, uh, the fact is that you were doing this before you, ca you came to Wayne County. Yes. You've been doing this for a while, I can I tell. Have. Yeah, I can so tell. I've been in TV uh, advertising sales for over seven years. Okay. So I went from selling commercial airspace to um, introducing platforms like digital advertising mm -hmm. and so you know with the way of social media incorporating mm -hmm. that um, so I launched the agency two years ago uh, yesterday Tuesday, yesterday, okay. whenever well, the 15th. Happy weekend. anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, th th this particular program will run after the holidays, so it would have been uh, two years and a couple of weeks yes, ago. Yes. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Now, uh, so, so uh, what about support from the community? Have, uh, particularly Wayne Community College, I guess I want to ask about it. Mm -hmm. Are they are they able to help? Are you able to get support from them? I actually might want to have Marcia uh, answer that because she's worked a lot with some of the local uh, businesses and organizations. 
Yes, actually, the answer to that is yes. Mm -hmm. um, the Wayne Community College, um, we have the small business director there, Scott Wolford. Mm -hmm. um, he and I have met on several occasions. I've taken advantage of their free business training courses. How about that? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? It is wonderful. Mm -hmm. They've got all this information out there and all this knowledge right. and everything, and they can help you. <laughs> and when we first met, and I, I introduced myself as a military spouse, and I told him that you know we do have a growing group of women who are um, entrepreneurial, and mm -hmm. we, we have some needs that we, I mean, we don't. It's not that we're significantly a separate group, you know, of people needing all this uh, separate attention, right. but in reality we actually are because the military community, the military life um, has its own um, idiosyncrasies basically. So um, he at first said, well they can just come in and take advantage of what we offer here, but I said, you know what, I think we really need to pull um, the, the, the business center towards the base so that you're coming on base and you're targeting the military spouse community, the military member community, military family members mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm all those people who have an entrepreneurial mindset and will need um, business training, business coaching, business counseling. So um, they have begun to do that. And so they're going to be um, on base offering us, um, educating us about what the state offers. Oh, that's wonderful. Resources that's and then wonderful. offering us the sessions. And I know the Mills Po project is new, <clears throat> but uh, when did it start here? in Wayne County, <laughs> or has it started? Oh, yeah, like, well, it has. That. It has started, <laughs> yes. but we're just not getting off the ground with this, right? We are very excited to say that you are our first interview. Oh, boy! Um, <laughs> officially, and so you'll be able to say you knew us when. I knew you when, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, this um, is great. We just started this chapter. Uh, Marcia is the chapter president here, and we just started it. Madam three President. <laughs> three months ago? Yes. We yes. Just oh, that's had, wonderful. We yes. just had our third meeting last night. It was a, a kind of a, more of an event than a yes. meeting, um, and, but that was our third, only our third meeting. So what are your plans as far as meetings? How often will you be meeting? Do once a month. Once, once a month. month. Once okay, a month. and that, that will be on base, of course. No, actually, actually um, our first meeting was on base at the okay. library, but um, we have since branched out into the community. We try to network with as many um, local partners as we can. Oh, that's great. And so we yeah. will meet just about <coughs> anywhere where somebody will offer us space to mm -hmm. meet. <laughs> well, I know this is so exciting, and I, and I know you've talked to others about this. What's been the, what have you heard? What are you, what are you getting back? Well, uh, we were really excited because last <coughs> night we had our holiday party, and it was, we've only been in this for two months here mm -hmm. at this, this chapter at right. uh, Goldsboro. So we were kind of nervous because, you know, we, don't, we haven't had the chance, we're building steam, but we really haven't had the chance to have a number of meetings and get that kind of core membership going. Right. So we hit the streets running, contacted a lot of the local organizations and companies here that are not affiliated with the military and said, hey, look, we also want to support local business. So oh, yeah. um, some of the, the uh, organizations and businesses here um, First Citizens Bank, mm. we had Texas Roadhouse, mm -hmm. we had uh, Papa Murphy's, which is, you know, they offer a generous uh, military discount to, uh, on their, their products for, for military members. And we had, um, gosh, who am I missing? I just went blank. Oh, the like Best tourism, Western Plus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Host yeah. It, let us, you know, host our party there, Wonderful. which is Starbucks. amazing. Oh, Starbucks. And, Starbucks, yeah. and uh, First Command. Yes, and First, First Command. Command. First Command. Yeah. yeah, those are great people yeah. over there. Well, you know, we are a military community, not just Air Force, yes. but you come from a Navy family, right? Yes, I do. And what is your background? Um, uh, so my family is yeah. Army. Basically, you have to be in something. Yeah. Except yeah. for my brother. He well, somehow got oh, out yeah, of that. Oh, yeah, but brothers you know, don't count. They don't count. No, they don't so, count. So, yeah, we're Army, ah. Marines, I mean, right, Navy. A little bit of everything, yes. huh? All right. Military background? Uh, yes, my father is uh, prior Army, and my stepdad is Navy. So Fantastic. Very proud uh, military family. We've covered everybody, I guess, yes. there. So, <laughs> so uh, we are a military community. We love all branches of the military here. We just happen to be the home of an Air Force base, which is actually the finest military base in the world. Us. Thank you. <laughs> what can I say? I mean, it's, it's the truth. What can I say? <laughs> So if someone wants to become part of this program, they have to be a military spouse and they need to contact you, how? Well, they can go online um, and that's the best way to uh, get your information out there. Uh, it's the project.com. Okay. The project.com and I believe it's on the screen It's here. on the screen. Um, so what you can do is fill out your information. It's right there. Yeah, it's See, right here. Right, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, to, uh, to find a local chapter near mm -hmm. you. In some locations, like in, Ver in the Hampton Roads region of Virginia, there are actually two chapters because oh. of the way that the market is set up. So up around Norfolk. Norfolk. Yeah, yeah, there's one in uh, the south side and there's one in uh, on the peninsula is how we Oh, okay. It. Yeah, on the peninsula. Not on the north side. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> no, on, on the peninsula. peninsula. Yeah, uh, so peninsula. we have, you know, the website that people can go to, and mm -hmm. then what will happen as soon as you submit your information, we'll find the chapter uh, president to introduce herself or himself to you, and um, you know, link you with the or with the chapter in that area. So um, typically, what happens is. There are, every single month there are different events. You can um, attend socials or uh, information sessions if you know you need tax advice and we can have a tax advisor come in okay. and you know, give you information. Wow, this is fantastic. Well, I want you to come back when things just start booming. <laughs> okay. And I want to hear more about this. Lindsay Germono, yes. Kristen Smith, yes. Marcia Hudson. Yes. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> It is The Millspo Project, www.themillspo Project, and I wish you the abs com. <laughs> I wish you the absolute best. Good luck to you, and uh, I know this is going to be a success. Well, thank, thank you for you having so us you. today. Right. We really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to um, really get success with this without the support of folks like you. So oh, well, you so I'll much. tell you, I'm only one of many. I'm <laughs> sure that people, once they get wind of this, will will be behind you and support you greatly. And I thank you so thank much you for being with us. All right, and Chris, thank, thank you. you, and Marcia, thank, thank you so, so much. much. Adam, Nora, David, Robert, Edward, William, Sam, first, phonetically, it's Adam Henry, John, Adam, Henry, Mary, Adam Henry, Little, Edward. I'm Sergeant David. Jason Hill with the Wayne County Sheriff's Office DWI Task Force. If you drink and drive this holiday season, you will go to jail. Protect your life protect your family, protect the lives of the other motoring public. Adam, Mary, Adam, Nora, Nora. Mail, We're back and we, we thank you for being with us and today is Tuesday and all that and I was gonna look up and see what tomorrow's gonna be but I, I didn't get that far, anyway. It's oh. okay. It's okay. Somebody said it would be uh, Wednesday or something. Yeah, Pepper Pot Day, right? Uh, and looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow is National Bicarbonate of Soda Day. So, what? You would think that would be after New Year's uh, for headaches and all that kind of. Thing. <laughs> anyway, make up your mind, Dave. Make up your mind. Like that's that the story too. of my yeah, life. Yeah, that's right. That's the story of my life. All right, for those of you who tend to um, overdo it at parties and such, and you know who you are and you know what I'm talking about, you need to really think about what you're doing when you do overdo it. You can, do, you can overdo it as much as you like and do anything you want to do, but when you get out on the highway, you're endangering lives. All right? Now, let me get on my soapbox here. Get Just on a it. second. Open don't the door. Don't do it. Get in. That's right. Don't do it. I'm going to okay. get off my soapbox That's now. That's right. All right. But don't do it because you are endangering lives, not only yours, but others as well, total strangers, and your family. Now, your family may not be in the car with you, but what if you were in a traffic accident? That could certainly cause a burden, if not worse, on your family. So right. just do the right thing and think about what you're doing. Use a little common sense. If for no other reason, but gee whiz, it'll cost you a fortune when you get caught. You lose your license, that's automatic. Boom, you lose your license and you get in all kinds of trouble. You can't afford that and you don't want to get hurt, so don't drink and drive. Drink all you like or drive all you like, but don't do the don't two. Do the two together. That's, That's right. right. That's Come right. On now. That's I, right. Act like you got some sense. <laughs> okay. There's the soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> but and we've said we've said this before, there's no establishment in, in this great community that if you were to have had two drinks instead of that one, mm -hmm. that if you um, ask somebody uh, to make a phone call, they would do it. Absolutely. There's no place in Wayne County that would that anybody can, can make that phone call. That's true. And, you know, a little shameless plug, download My Chamber app, go to the app store, and right there you can type in um, uh, uh, keywords, driver, all this, mm -hmm. and, um, and you'll be able to pull up um, some options here in Wayne County that can get you home safely. That is exactly that right. and you know you know not even just that but if you're going out of town and you're flying out of Raleigh um, there are businesses here locally that can get you there so you don't have to leave your car you know that's right just a little that, plug that's just a little plug Way to go. just a little plug Way to go Kate all <laughs> right so and while you're in the mood to give the red blood cross drives. blood drives the red cross needs your help and i don't have january's schedule I know there's one, uh, well, there's, there's a lot in January, and, and if you go to the uh, Red Cross 
dot org site, or as mm. you say, blood dot org, yeah. but you can get there either way. Either way, either way. All you do is type in your zip code and it's gonna pull up Wayne County and mm -hmm. upcoming blood drives. Mm -hmm. I know That's I'll right. be given in January and I cannot remember the day, but St. Paul United Methodist Church is oh. doing a blood drive. Okay, ours is um, so for example. Yeah. Well, I'm going to my church <laughs> to give and you can give here. We'll divide and conquer. Um, but the Red Cross, they do collect blood across the country. That's right. 364 days a year. The one day that blood is not collected is on Christmas Day. It is needed. We've talked about this many times. Yes. There is shelf life That's um, right. for this. Blood is needed not just for um, the accidents uh, and trauma that happened, but for cancer patients, for newborn babies, um, and, and truly any blood type it is needed. Um, That's right. Every blood type is needed. Is it O? What is the blood type that's universal? O? I believe it's O. I believe it's O. Mm -hmm. I know um, it's not W. Stop it. <laughs> um, I, I talked to somebody uh, recently that was like, you know, I, I give whenever I can because I'm, um, I'm uh, A plus. <laughs> Are you a an A? Plus. You're a an plus. A plus? <laughs> she I knew it. that. I was like, A positive. <laughs> but it is a wonderful <laughs> thing to do. It costs nothing but a little bit of time. That's right. Um, and uh, whether you've given once or never, or you've given a lot, it's all appreciated. It is. It makes a is. difference. It can save up to three lives. That's exactly right. Okay, so, okay. now we're gonna do this again tomorrow. We are gonna do this again tomorrow. I think so, okay. <laughs> unless oh, we get told boy. otherwise. Okay, we'll be back in here tomorrow. We're asking you, uh, you were asking you to join us, if you will, please. If you can take it, I can, so. Please join us again tomorrow. We'll be right here. And until tomorrow, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels. <laughs> and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. <laughs>